Okay, I had my uh, car stolen the uh, last week, and I uh, ran out and stole it back, found it on the street, had a spare key, but here's the downside, the guy who stole it now has my smart key that I had hidden not very well in the glove compartment. So, I'm going to put a kill switch in rather than have the car re-keyed and buy new three, three new keys and all of that. I'm going to put a kill switch on the fuel pump. And I looked online, so this is, uh, uh, don't, uh, don't come back to me if something goes south. But here's what I found. Right here, okay, you got two fuse boxes on this 2005 Jeep Grand Cherokee. There's a fuse box, and this fuse right here, one, two, three, 20 amp fuse, according to the diagram here, is the fuel pump. So if you interrupt that one, then the car will not uh, will not start. It'll turn over. And I tested that by pulling this fuse, and the car just turns over and doesn't do anything. So I went in there, found the wire that goes from that fuse to this one of these relays. And you can tell, because see how that wiggles? Well, you can't really see, but in this bundle, I snipped the... Uh, a little zip tie and found the gray and red wire or red wire with a gray stripe that's on top of the bundle in my car and that also causes that fuse to wiggle if you interrupt that and then run a piece of cord through there and drill through the firewall I went uh, slightly above the uh, uh, steering uh, steering shaft there. I'm not a mechanical guy, but I'm figuring this out. So, and then it's just a matter of uh, putting a switch hidden fairly well in the compartment somewhere, uh, an on-off switch that won't get bumped so you don't kill your fuel pump while you're in the middle of the highway and have to scramble for the switch. But uh, that's, uh, that's what I have found out, and I wish you well with it. This is just me messing around in my backyard, so... Take it for what it is.